In this video, we'll cover how to create a WordPress child theme. But first of all, what is a child theme? So imagine you have a WordPress website, but you don't like the accent color used by the theme developer, in this case, blue. You may go into the theme's files and change the color yourself if you're familiar with CSS. That will work for a while, but when the theme is updated for for instance, for a security update, all your changes will be lost and overwritten by the theme update. Now, to prevent that from happening, child themes can be used. When you create a child theme and make your changes there, your child theme will continue to run in the background even when the theme is updated. This is the most future-proof way of making changes to your WordPress website. So how do you create a child theme? First of all, I'm gonna open local which allows to run WordPress websites locally without having to install WordPress on your hosting server. I'm gonna enter a name for my website. Just go with the preferred options. Choose a WordPress username and a WordPress password. As you can see, you can also choose whether your WordPress website is a multi-site. In this case, our website will not be a WordPress multi-site. Once WordPress is installed, you'll be able to open the website directly from local. And you have yourself a fresh install of WordPress. There's a link that sends you straight to the WordPress login. Today, we'll be working with the 2020 theme. From local, we're gonna go to the folder that contains our website. This is the same as you would do in your FTP client. The theme we're using is 2020. What we're going to do is create a new folder called 2020-child. Next, we'll open a file editor, in this case bbedit, which we're going to use to create two files. We're going to start with the style.css file. Style.css contains all the inform information about your theme. In this case, because it's a child theme, there are two important fields we'll need to enter. One is the template. The template is basically the folder name of your parent theme. In this case, 2020. The text domain needs to match the name of your child theme folder, in this case, 2020-child. Save this file as style.css. So let's move on to the next file. I'm going to paste some code here that tells the child theme to load the parent's theme styles. This way, if you don't override anything, at least your child theme will still use the layout of your parent theme. Save the file as functions.php. And now move both the style.css and functions.php into your child theme folder. Going back to the WordPress admin panel theme screen, we can actually see our child theme. We can see that WordPress has recognized this child theme as a child theme of 2020. After activating our child theme, as you can see, our website still looks like a website with 2020 theme activated. That's because our child theme is completely empty. So imagine we want to change something in the site title. For instance, the font weight. 
I'm just going to use the inspector in Google Chrome to figure out the CSS class of the site title. Our child theme will allow us to make changes in the style.css file. For instance, changing the font weight to 300. Now let's save our CSS file and see what happens. After refreshing the website, we can see that the title font weight has been updated. Let's make another change. Let's change the color of the site title. So let's start by finding a nice color. Save your file again and refresh your website. As you can see, the color has been updated. You can also add new functionality to your WordPress website using functions.php. The disadvantage of using functions.php for this is that you will lose those functions when you switch to another WordPress theme. That's why for some specific things, it is recommended to create a site-specific plugin. For example, post types, taxonomies, shortcodes, and other WordPress tweaks. These are generally not the kind of changes you want to lose when you switch to a new WordPress theme in the future. I strongly advise to make these kind of changes in a site-specific plugin rather than in your themes functions.php. Thanks for watching this video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below.